Well, the Warriors are finally getting shown some love. For the first time since the 2007 season, Hawaii is ranked in the AP's top 25 poll. 9-3 Warriors with a 59-24 win over New Mexico State yesterday clinched a share of the WAC title. UH received 43 votes in this week's poll, now ranked 25th in the country. Top two teams over the Thanksgiving holiday both pulled out big wins in comeback fashion. Boise State dropped six spots to number nine in the poll. Nevada, who beat the Broncos in an overtime thriller 34 to 31, jumps to 14th, and there the Warriors are sitting outside the poll for 13 weeks, now 25th. Largely in part due to this man, Alex Green. Warriors' ruthless running attack tallied 338 yards. AG had 327, crushing a 60-year school record held by Pete Wilson, who ran for 270. In 2010 so far, Green has amassed 1,064 total yards on the ground on 118 carries. Leads all running backs with 16 touchdowns. Oregon Natives just the seventh Warrior to rush for a grand in a season and first since Travis Sims in 92. Well, AG is not the only Warrior running back who's in the record books. In yesterday's game, Greg Salas went over 100 receptions on the year. This comes from a guy who only caught three passes, 37 passes his freshman year at Hawaii. 2010 Bolitnikoff Award semifinalist caught 10 passes for 191 yards and a touchdown against New Mexico State. Gives him 4,037 in his career, making him the Warriors' all-time leading receiver. Also becoming the first ever Warrior with 4,000 yards receiving. In 2010, the All-American candidate has 101 receptions, 15,081 yards, and 10 touchdowns. Now with 4,037 yards and counting, everybody will be trying to catch Greg Salas. This week's game against UNLV will be senior night. 25th ranked Warriors going for their 10th win overall. Kickoff for the Hawaii Bowl bound Warriors, 5.30 at Aloha Stadium. In the NFL, another great receiver, former UH wideout Devon Best and his Miami Dolphins improved to 6-5 on the year. Five of their wins come on the road. Best snagged a couple against arguably the best cover corner in the league, Namdi Asimwa, three-time first-team all-whack receiver, finished with a team-leading six catches for 111 yards, no TDs. Dolphins beat the Raiders 33-17. Warrior football team debuted in the AP Top 25, top 25 poll for the first time since 2007. Today, Hawaii came in at 25th place and received 40 votes in the coaches' poll to leave them just outside at 27th. Yesterday's 59-24 win over New Mexico State, plus Boise State's loss to Nevada, also wrapped up Hawaii's fourth WAC title since 1992. How's it going, everybody? Beyond the team accomplishments, several Warriors continue to burn up the UH record books, like receiver Greg Salas, who surpassed Jason Rivers as Hawaii's all-time leader in receiving yards. The senior became the first Warrior to surpass the 4,000-yard mark. But oh, wait, there's more. Joining the spotlight this week was running back Alex Green, who cobbled up more rushing yards in a single game than any Warrior ever has. Green's 327 yards on 19 carries crushed the previous mark of 270. It also made him the first Warrior to surpass the 1,000 yard mark in a season since Travis Sims in 1992. Green credits his offensive line and New Mexico State's blitz packages for freeing him up. Um, once that happens, it's like one-on-one, -on -one, so I made one guy miss it. It's like 20 yards down the field before the next guy go touch you. So it's in my goal for 1,000 uh, yards and uh, 16 touchdowns. People, people laugh and stuff to all now, you know, pass the offense, but that's my goal and I reach it, so it feels good. The Warrior defense continued a benchmark of their own. Kamalu Umu and Aaron Brown both intercepted quarterback Andrew Manley, recording two picks for the ninth straight game and giving Hawaii 20 interceptions this season. That's tied for second most in the country. This week also marked the second straight game that Brown returned a pick for six. We pressured him a little bit. We got to him a couple times. We made him throw some balls that he didn't want to throw. We picked him off, scored a touchdown. So, I mean, we executed our defense. Oh, I, I, mean, I love it. I love I love getting the ball in my hands. So, I mean, when I, once I get the ball in my hands, I'm trying to score. Now for a complete wrap-up of yesterday's game against the Aggies and a look ahead to the season finale with UNLV, tune in to the Coach Mac Show tonight at 1035 on KGMB. This week's BCS poll shows a lot of change in the top 10, the most notable being Auburn taking over the top spot above Oregon. Wisconsin locked up the Big Ten title by finishing fifth just ahead of rival Ohio State. And WAC member Boise State fell from fourth to 11th, while Nevada 
moved up two spots to 17. How's it going everybody for the first time since the final poll of the 2007 season Western Athletic Conference champion warrior football team ranked in the top 25 at nine and three UH came in at number 25 in the ladies AP poll while placing 27th in the coaches poll yesterday in a 59 24 win over New Mexico State senior running back Alex Green broke a 60 year old school record for rushing yards in a single game by posting 327 yards with three touchdowns. With the win, Warriors clinched at least a share of the WAC crown for just the fourth time in school history. And now with goals of a WAC title, bowl game, and national ranking under their belt, home team is stoked but not satisfied. Um, this is a confidence booster. You know, um, Coach Mack has been telling us that uh, we are a good football team, and we knew we know we know we're a good football team. And now um, being ranked, you know, it just it just reflects that you know we are a good football team that you know we come to play. And so it's just going to give us confidence, you know, into this next game, and you know, um, really we can build off of it. We still got one more game before our, our bowl game, so you know we're still trying to take one game at a time. You know, this week we're really trying to concentrate on UNLV, and you know we're really um, grateful for what we accomplished. You know, but like you said, the season's not over yet. With the Warriors at number 25, Boise State 9th and Nevada 14th in the AP. It's the first time since 1994 that the WAC has three schools in the top 25. Up next for the Hawaii Bowl Bound Warriors regular season finale against UNLV Saturday night. In the National Football League, that's Kailua grad, former Warriors center Samson Satele. He and his Raiders had their three-game win streak snapped by the Dolphins today. In the win for Miami, Sam's UH teammate Devon Betts playing in his hometown of Oakland for the first time since high school. And the third-year receiver slash punt returner in storybook fashion had one of his best games of his career posting a career-high 60 return yards while pulling in a season-high 111 yards on six catches. Best bought 50-plus tickets for family and friends, and number 15 gave them plenty to cheer about. Dolphins win 33-17 the final in 2010. Best has 55 catches for 600 yards and three touchdowns. That's Devon's former running mate in Manoa, Ryan Grice Mullen. He and his Saskatchewan Rough Riders lost to Montreal in the Canadian Football League's 98th Grey Cup game tonight in Edmonton. RGM started at kick returner, but the Alouettes kicked away from number three on five different occasions. Montreal wins a tight one, 21-18 the final, claiming their second straight CFL title and seventh in franchise history. 